guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to kind of touch up on a subject i actually haven't spoken about over on this channel so i am going to be talking about rsd rejection sensitivity dysphoria it's like a hidden adhd trait symptom that not a lot of people kind of know about i'm not actually sure if you can be diagnosed with it i'm not sure i mean if if so i need to be diagnosed I've definitely got it yeah, if you enjoy this video, please leave me a like and a subscribe down below. Let me know if you guys kind of know something that I haven't touched up on down below in the comments. I will appreciate it and I, and I know some other people who can relate to this video will appreciate knowing some more about this subject. So, thank you for watching. Let's get on to the video. So, have any of you guys ever had that moment where you kind of overthink or you go back over a conversation you've had previously with a friend, family member, like two months ago, and you think, why is that now in my head? If you have, so have I. And I look back and I think, why did I say that? Why did I do that? I bet I look stupid. I bet they think I'm weird. Like, why am I thinking about a conversation that happened so long ago at one o'clock in the morning? So if you have, you could have RSD, rejection, sensitivity, dysphoria. You might have that. I mean, I'm no doctor, but I'm gonna be throwing some facts at you now about what RSD is, how it can affect ADHD, and kind of like, what to do, what can help. But I will be doing videos to follow up on this kind of thing. So if you haven't already, just give me a like and a subscribe so I know you kind of want to see them videos. Comment down below, just let me know if you are interested in that. But let's get going. So RSD can hit you like a tsunami, right? It really can. It's like an emotional flood, like you just get overwhelmed with emotion. It can kind of hit you like out of nowhere. It's experiences that lead to that, that generally generate those types of RSD feelings. And those feelings can be embarrassment. If you've, if you felt like someone was coming at you, someone was horrible to you, they criticised you, you know, and that's okay. Like those types of scenarios can really damage and hurt someone that has RSD. So RSD can really like knock someone off their feet and it can be like really quick and you really don't have to be thinking about anything. It's like subconsciously it's there and something can trigger that off and you think, oh my God, this whole tsunami, like hurricane, every type of big whirlwind of like, emotion hits you like, Phew! and you're like, oh my God, where did that come from? Like, whoa, you're just left feeling like a bit flushed. You're like, wow, that came out of nowhere. I often feel my RSD like gets really kind of triggered in a group scenario and I get really paranoid that people are just kind of using me and that they don't actually want me there. I'm annoying, I'm embarrassing them and they don't actually like me. That can really trigger off my RSD and I can overthink a lot of things. So it can leave you feeling sick tight throat, like anxiety type of symptoms. It can lead to a panic attack, a meltdown. It can be that kind of hard hitting that it can really trigger off a lot of anxiety. It's usually the build up to a big meltdown and it just contributes to a lot of ADHD traits, symptoms, anxiety traits or symptoms. It can just lead to a meltdown. People don't realise how it does affect people. Like it is a massive contribute to ADHD and the whole like criteria of ADHD. So yeah, I just want you guys to know a little bit more about RSD. I definitely suffer with it and I mean if you have ADHD that you could too. So I have written these down on my notes and I've got them from um, the NHS slash the ADHD Foundation website because I wanted to make sure I got them 100%. I don't want to give you no false things. So yeah, these are factually correct. So here we go. So some of the symptoms that could be related to, I'm not saying they definitely are, but some symptoms, traits that are related to RSD are, you could find yourself getting easily embarrassed. You could also find yourself getting very anxious in social situations. So you could overthink social interactions. So if you know you're gonna be meeting someone, you could want to have, kind of have a script, like what you're gonna say or how you're gonna act. Like you can overthink those sort of things or vice versa, you could have met someone and you think, why did I say that? Why did I do that? Why did I do this? So yeah, you could get a bit awkward. So you could also become very overwhelmed by emotions, other people's emotions. You could definitely think, are they upset with me? Or are they angry with me? But in fact, they're not actually upset or angry at you. It's just, that's how they feel. But you automatically think 
you've upset them. So you could easily withdraw yourself from all social situations to eliminate feeling RSD or because you feel that people don't want you around. Like you could easily do that and it's an easy kind of black hole to fall down. So you become overly critical about yourself. So your self-confidence really kind of takes a hit. So yeah, you get very self-conscious and you're just overly critical about yourself, your appearance, your weight, your height, if people like you, like all your flaws. You just think people don't like you because of your who you are kind of thing. So you, you kind of have strong emotional connections to people and you kind of get easily attached if someone doesn't give you that sense of attachment back or if you feel like oh no they, they don't like me as much as i like them you kind of withdraw yourself and get very offended so you could overreact to certain situations that others may feel doesn't bother them they could think oh i'm just gonna let that go it's not worth my time we could become super reactive to situations that don't need to be react upon it can happen and we are left feeling stupid embarrassed because we're like why did i act like that so you can like you tend to kind of assume the worst of every situation you think something bad's gonna happen to you you feel like oh i'm not gonna bother having a friend anymore because everyone's gonna hate me you know, I, I never i can't make friends i can't keep relationships and you kind of just overthink things when they don't need to be overthought if you get me and you just tend to think the worst of every situation when Taking risks, making mistakes are how you educate yourself and you learn from mistakes. But, yeah. So, some people can internalise their RSD and keep how they're feeling kind of like... So, imagine you're a fizzy bottle and you keep shaking, 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 shaking and eventually it's going to explode, isn't it? But, you, you just keep tightening the lid so, you know it just stays in a little bit more so you've got more time to just keep it in and eventually you just feel like that bottle is going to explode which it probably will but some people internalize how they're feeling and they can take it out on themselves with self-harm kind of like suicide i don't really like talking about these on this channel because it's, it's not but it does happen and i want to raise awareness of that kind of like anxiety social anxiety mental other mental health issues can kind of like come up from beneath the surface and yeah but it can happen and I really hope that if you are feeling oh my god like that's me please speak to someone you don't you're not in this alone and you don't need to be alone just speak to someone you trust you love I, I'm sure there's plenty of people that love and trust you can trust so please reach out and speak to someone so just as people can internalize their feelings people can also externalize their feelings and they can actually become antisocial they can actually start fights become aggressive be angry all the time kind of take it out on other people and again that isn't okay either you know please if you feel like that reach out for help as well you know that's just as bad as internally kind of suppressing how you feel you need to speak to someone either way but also people that externalize it can also want to have this feel of adrenaline and you just kind of want to prove people wrong and and you want to do things that scare you you want that fear factor to kind of hide the pain that you're feeling inside kind of numb it and you can do stuff that are well are considered really dangerous for example like cliff jumping or or trying drugs or you know drinking excessive alcohol kind of things like that can really be dangerous and driving and drinking can obviously lead to death and you, you know people that externalize things can also become really at risk of of serious like serious harm just as much as internally so remember please people if you are struggling with rsd reach out speak to someone because ultimately either way you you just need to speak to someone it's not good to either internalize it or externalize it, you need to speak to someone. So RSD can actually be misdiagnosed as bipolar, borderline personality disorders, post-traumatic stress syndrome, social anxiety, rapid cycling mood disorder, and depression. So again, that just proves how intense and hardcore RSD can be if they are considered even under the same kind of umbrella diagnosis of any of those i've just said so please take rsd seriously let's try and raise awareness of the things like rsd pda odd they aren't given enough 
exposure, enough awareness, because people just kind of dismiss them. They're just there but forgotten. So let's kind of raise as much awareness around these types of diagnosis that don't really get diagnosed, I guess. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video, but not enjoyed it as like, oh my God, it's fun. Kind of enjoyed it because you've learned something new from the video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you've enjoyed this, learned something from it, please give me a like down below and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.